Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Welcome to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today we're talking about what does it mean to read anything. And we are working from the book Lessons from the Divine. And we're on Lesson 52. So you get to a place in your development, your consciousness, your spirituality, your psychic development. And and what I want to say is that these are all, it's all the same thing. It's just different words for this awareness And you begin to understand that not only can you read things, you know, like the the normal things in, say, using psychic development techniques, Uh, you can read relationships, you can read where the flow of things is going, you can read what's coming up or what's um, beginning to manifest in your life, but you also begin to be able to read things empathically you begin to read energy and situations just sort of immediately you go from having a deep knowing about something to having direct knowing every single thing you're uh, faced with or that comes into your reality or even that you even read about or hear about you just understand it immediately fully and this is what, we, what we're what we talking about. What does it mean to read anything? In the uh, olden times, in ancient times, people would use things like they would use runes or they would use uh, a circle of stones or they would use tea leaves or uh, maybe they might use uh, tarot cards. And these were all physical ways of using a physical symbol to interpret reality. And then in other ancient ancient traditions, people use things like they would look at how the wind was blowing, or they would um, look at the way the um, the water was moving, and they would interpret from or or an animal that crossed their path, and they would interpret from these natural signs. So all of these ways of 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 using visioning, of using messaging of just being in your environment, of feeling your emotions, all of these ways of just sensing everything allow you to, when you remain in this state, when you don't go into distraction, they allow you to read anything, anytime, and I would also add, they allow you to read everything all the time. Um... So here's the book says, Messages from the Divine, the more present you are, the more universal guidance you receive, the more present you are, the more clarity you have, the more present you are, the more you experience direct knowing. And so we are faced with all kinds of misbeliefs and all kinds of misleading cultural beliefs all the time you know what society tells you or what your family tells you or what um, your friends tell you or what politics tells you or what's your you know your news feed tells you all of that is (laughs) usually a fairly incorrect understanding of what's really happening when you get out of that distraction and you just sit with, I'm going to call it like the what is of everything, you're able to read the situation. Now, a lot of times people have trouble because they're used to working uh, very in a very linear way with their brains. And so this is a very um, non-linear way. This is a way of allowing everything to kind of flow into your brain or into your Um, awareness and then just to allow it to kind of sort itself but not by using reason almost by using this kind of creative sorting that isn't really done by you you're just 
noticing and watching. And again, the words get kind of weird here because uh, we don't have a lot of language for this process. It's like you just you just sit there and you allow everything to come in and you pay attention to everything. And then you just allow yourself to notice the truth of the relationship. And we might call this the, this wisdom that comes. You allow yourself to notice and observe the truth of a relationship. And of course, we're in relationship to everything all the time. So the truth of a relationship between two people, the truth of a relationship, say, between a person and their health status, the truth of a relationship, a person and their emotional status, the truth of a, a relationship um, between uh, other things that aren't human, everything in relationship to everything else all the time. So what it means to read anything is that nothing can escape this uh, deep knowing, this direct knowing, this deep wisdom. Nothing can escape it. Uh, this is a part of who we are, and this is a part of what we are able to do don't need to really learn anything except the idea of sitting in stillness and observing and allowing the mind to be put to the side and allowing this deep knowing to come. I am Sarah Wiseman. We are talking about uh, the book Messages from the Divine, and you can find me at sarahwiseman.com.